All right, for our next assignment, we are going to go into Drive and click on New. And you'll remember that we already talked about these first three items uh, in a previous video. We want to go down here to these little programs they have that are within uh, Google Drive. And the spreadsheet program that is in Google Drive is called Google Sheets. Okay, so we're going to open Google Sheets. And this is not active yet. It's still loading still working if you get something like this just you can just go away no thanks okay and now the first thing to do is it's called untitled spreadsheet and that's just not going to work at all so we're going to click up there remember anytime that we make something turn blue as far as on a computer that means we can edit that or change that so I'm just going to put Fletcher and the name of this assignment is data d-a-t-a -A, and then hit enter okay so now this is a good name because it says whose it is, it says which assignment it is. So now, looking at our spreadsheet, please notice that there are letters across the top, and those are the, um, the names of these columns that go up and down. There are also numbers going down the side, numbering each row. Okay? And down here at the very bottom, you, you'll see there's this little left arrow and right arrow. I'm on uh, column K, but let's say I needed to be at column L or Z. This will get you over further to the right or back over to the left, these little arrows. Also, there's this little scroll bar. You can grab a hold and drag it that way and that way. Okay. There's also, if you need to go further down, I don't know if you can see this real good, but there's a little slider it'll take you down as you can see over here the, the rows are um, increasing in number okay so what we're gonna do is you have a list of cell names and the whole point of this assignment is to get very comfortable finding the correct cell because we're about to start using dollar amounts and if you put the dollar amount that you're talking about in the wrong cell that could create all kinds of problems with you keeping track of how much money you have all right, so this cell is A1. Uh, this cell is B4. This cell is C19. The number, the letter always comes first. A cell name has a letter and a number, and the letter always comes first. So I have for you in classroom a list of cell names for you to color in. Please use the same color for all of them, okay? So I think, we'll have to look, but I think perhaps the first cell name is not A1. The first um, one on the list might be A3. So we're going to click in A3. Make sure you're not up here in A1. Click on A3. And then if you go over here to this paint bucket, that's the fill color. Well, obviously, we don't want to fill it with white because it's on a white background ground and you won't see that. So if you click next to it, on that little tiny arrow, you get some choices. So I'm just going to pick blue. Okay, so now you're done with A1. The next one, I don't remember, it might be C3. Okay, so we're going to click there. We're going to go back over and use the same color, please. Don't ma do this all in rainbow. Just click the same color. And you're going to fill in with the same color, the color of your choice, all the cell names on the list. Now, the cool thing about this file is if you don't get finished, it's going to save automatically because, remember, we we this originated in Google Drive okay we clicked on new and we went to our spreadsheet um, so this is automatically saving as you work that is not the case when you're using the spreadsheet Excel which we will use but in this case Me, this will save automatically so and it's saving in your drive so when you come in on, for the next class it should be in your drive and it should be called Fletcher data of course you'll you won't name it Fletcher data unless your last name is Fletcher okay so this is and there will be a little message here once you get them all colored in correctly